gems! Welcome back, it's Ariana. Today we're here to share March's BoxyCharm unboxing. I love watching these things, especially since BoxyCharm recently switched from having everyone get the same thing to people getting different stuff, so I think it's super cool to watch these videos. And yeah, let's hop into the box, why don't we? Because y'all know I like to ramble and I don't want this to be a super long video. I am gonna give a quick disclaimer that I've been sick this past week, so if I sound a little bit stuffy, if I sneeze or whatnot, I apologize. I'll try not to sniffle too much, but letting y'all know... It's been a bit of a struggle lately, so hopping into the box <laughs> now that we have the disclaimer out of the way. This month's um, theme is Creepy Cute. That's cute. says there's one, two, three, four, five products in here from $12.50, $15, $39, $99, $16, and $18.99. All right. So, yeah, interesting. I'll keep that handy so we can check the prices. First thing I'm noticing is a brush, which I love. This is one of my favorite ways to um, try new brands without having to spend too much. So I love getting brushes. And this one is from Crown Brush. Ooh. Okay. All right. This is the SS023 Jumbo Kabuki Fan. It is pretty jumbo. Pretty soft, though. Not bad. Yet. Okay. So this um, says... Retails for $18.99. This fan brush features a large fan brush head, perfect for the soft application of powder products. This brush is also great for lightly dusting shimmer products onto your skin. So, very nice. Very soft, as I said. Favorite way to get brushes. So, yay for that. I love getting brushes in these boxes, to be honest. Next, we've got a Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. This is the original oil-free formula. Um, this retails for $16 because it's a travel size. It says, this primer is the first product that was ever created at Smashbox Photo Studios in LA. It instantly blurs fine lines and pores, leaving skin with a velvety, smooth, even finish. This classic primer is the best way to start your makeup every day. I actually have tried this formula before. I've tried the light formula. I've tried the pore filling one. I like Smashbox. They do good stuff. So this is really nice and handy. If you were to travel, it'd be a great size to take with you. It's in plastic casing. It's same as the large size. So definitely a good product. Excited for that. Um, yeah. Sorry. The sickness is making me foggy. All right. Next, let's see. We've got... Okay. What is this? Mm. Oh, all right. This is an expert advice lip liner from Real Her. And I don't know why my packaging is all beat up. All right. It says a creamy lip liner that glides across lips to define your pout. Um, this is retails for twelve fifty, and it's in the shade I Am Unique. Okay. Let's open this baby up and see how unique it is. Real quick. Ooh, that is pretty. Oh, even better. Okay, so you have, like, the info here, but I like that it has the name, like, right there. Super cool. So that's the shade I Am Unique, and let's see. Oh, that is super pretty for spring. It's like a bright fuchsia-y berry type of springtime color. Very nice, very nice. All right, so that is, again, a 12.50 lip liner, and then... In conjunction with that, we've got a lipstick here, and this also has the plastic all over it. Sorry, I'm just ripping the hair real quick. Okay, so this is I Am Fearless, and oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's really pretty. Okay, so this says Real Her on the side, that is the brand, and then it has the shade I Am Fearless. And that's super pretty because it totally ties in. Like, you've got the white, black, the color, black, white, the color. So that's a really pretty play on shades that they did. But it ties them together nicely. So that's really cool. I like that aesthetic. And I'm guessing, yeah, this is the corresponding lip color. Ooh, how pretty is that? Look at... So it does have your, you know, doe foot applicator. Pretty standard. And, oh, that is so pretty. Oh my goodness. All right. All right. I see you. So let's see. This description says, um, matte liquid lipstick. Perfect. I love mattes right now. So retail price, $15. Lightweight formula glides onto lips, leaving super intense color with a bold ultra matte finish. Long wearing and completely kiss proof. This bomb formulation helps to combat dryness and nourish your lips during wear. Awesome. Let's see. So that's that. Ah, okay. Oh, there's a paper in here. So actually... How cute. It has like a little note. 
It says, thank you. 20% of all real her gross profits are donated to the AAUW, a nonprofit organization that advances equity for women and girls through scholarship programs, leadership, advocacy, education, and research. That's actually really cool. Um... And it says, let these quotes act as a source of confidence and inspiration with each application. You reinforce the meaning of the quote. So yeah, I am fearless. I am unique. I love that. That is so cute. I would definitely buy from this kind of a company because, you know, I'm all for advancing equity and women's rights and LGBT rights and pretty much any person's rights. Like, I think everyone should have equal rights. I think that's amazing. I'm definitely going to look them up and maybe buy some more because 15 bucks is pretty affordable. I mean, it's the same as a MAC li lipstick. It's cheaper than like Ofra or other brands and they're given back. So I really like that. I'm going to look this up. I'll leave a link to them down below so you guys can check them out because that seems like a really good cause. Um, and I'm super curious about this. It says that it's supposed to be long wearing, completely kiss proof, um, ultra matte. So let's give this a try. I didn't plan on that. But, let's do this. So, if you're curious, I was currently wearing a Bite Beauty one that's a 100 point prick at Sephora. Um, I was wearing Bite Beauty's Pastille. This is a matte creme lip crayon. So that's what was on my lips. Let's just add a quick coat of protection. Let's see, where's my... Sorry, I totally did not plan for this. So my MAC Prep and Prime, which is what I wear under all my matte liquid lipsticks because it just kind of helps protect from the dryness. And my lips have been pretty chapped lately, so adds a nice layer of hydration as well. All right. Kind of blot that a little bit. And I will fast forward through the application so you guys know how to sit there and watch me, but just to show you guys how it works. Let's see. I normally do when I line my lips. I know it's weird, but I don't know. Alright, now for the liquid lip color. Go in with a lighter application, then try to build. What do you guys think? I think that's super pretty. It's not patchy. It went on really smoothly. It is still a little bit tacky, but I'm going to give it some time to dry while we go through the rest. And then we'll come back and test and see if it's kiss-proof. So, so far though, I love the color. That is freaking beautiful. Right now for springtime. Yes, girl. Yeah, you definitely, I think, want to give it some time to dry. Alright, and last but not least, our final item in here is, um, this says Urban Rustic Palette by Naked Cosmetics. Ooh, okay. These colors offer a dramatic look when applied damp or with an eye base. The colors have hints of green, bronze, purple, and brown. Retail price $39.99. I think we've gotten Naked Cosmetics, um, palettes before, if I'm not mistaken. And honestly, I don't usually keep the palettes just because I have so many already that I'm like, hmm. So this is the packaging. Quite nice. Very portable. Now let's look at the shades. Ooh, okay. All right, let's do a quick shot. Let's see. All right, so quick zhuzh. These are the three shades that it came with. That's super pretty, actually. Very nice. And let's see. Pick them up on my fingers. Oh lord. Okay, that middle one is like so pigmented. The green and the burgundy. I think I needed to pick up a little more. See if they're buildable because those aren't as impressive, but that bronze girl. Okay, okay, not bad. That's super pretty. That middle color is like bam in your face though. Like that thing I didn't have to touch up at all. But the other two I'm actually more interested in. I don't really usually use these kind of orangey bronzes. I just feel like orangey shades look weird on me. But um I will definitely give the other two, especially like the burgundy one. Well, the green, too. I love green, so I will definitely play around with these. And, yeah, that's actually really pretty. Surprising. I was like, yeah, I'm probably going to give that away, but no, I like the colors. So, yeah, that's super pretty. Okay, and that's everything that we got this month. So there was the two lip products, the brush, the primer, and then the palette. Not bad. Let's see. So we've got $16 for the primer $18.99, bucks for the fan brush, so that makes it 
Makes it time to get my my calculator, doesn't it? <laughs> I suck at math. Okay, 16 and 9, that makes it 5 to carry the 1. $35 and then $39.99, so 40 bucks for the palette. So that makes it 75. 15 for the liquid lipstick makes it 90. And then 1250 for the lip liner, 10250. Not too shabby for a box that cost me $21. Getting over 100 bucks in products. Last month I, I think it was like 160, but you know, every box is going to be different in value and all that good stuff. Last last month's box had more stuff or more valuable stuff, but I didn't use all of it and I'm not keeping all of it. So Let's hop into the update, why don't we? So, since we are on the topic of last month's box, so this month, I'm definitely keeping everything. I love it all. Last month, I actually, um, I already gave away the lipstick, the little Deuce Cosmetics red lip. It's just not my kind of shade. I really wasn't impressed with the packaging. It looked beautiful, but felt a little bit, you know, cheap, and I was just like, hmm, not feeling it. So I already gave that away. I do still have the two Makeup Geek um, eyeshadows. I have a little bin that I'm collecting stuff, and I'm going to do a little giveaway with my friends and family, um, because I have some Sephora Gratis coming, which I actually just got the bag. I'm going to film a video for you guys on that too. But, um, yeah, I'm not keeping a bunch of makeup right now. I actually already own Peaches and Cream. And again, Glamorous is like a bronzy shade, which I don't normally wear. So these are definitely going away sometime soon. Then there was the um, brushes from what was this? Sedona Lace. Actually, I love all three of them. Two of them are dirty. This one I just used today, to be perfectly honest. Really nice. This is the EB13. It's like a blending brush. I used it through the crease. And actually to apply my lid, I just, you know, didn't do anything too crazy dramatic today and just used this all over. Really nice, really soft, great quality. Love the brushes. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, the lipstick. There were two other items. Oh, right. Okay, so we had the Microdermabrasion Exfoliate exfoliator from Dr. Brandt. This was the $80 product from last month and honestly I really love this stuff. I love exfoliating my skin. I love using treatments. I've been super into skincare lately so this was a big like yay moment for me last month and I'm not sorry. I'm so glad that we got this. It's a really nice. I use it about once twice a week because I am using other products as well and you don't want to over exfoliate your skin so I do this like on a Monday and then use my baby facial from Drunk Elephant on like Friday. It just kind of balance my skin that way but my skin has really cleared up since I had a really bad reaction in February to a skincare product I've really managed to get it back under control and I do think this has helped quite a bit in that regard and then last but not least there was the Z palette with BoxyCharm it was a little mini it had their little design I love this thing and I did go ahead and fill it with my favorite MAC eyeshadows I just filled it with my top nine and I reach for this thing all the time now and it's so nice to have them all just kind of in a compacted super handy little case because I had them in like three different palettes and it was like which one was which palette is just you know it gets a little confusing when you have like a whole collection of them because they all look the same so I really need to like I don't know put some glitter on one and like color on another one I need to differentiate those somehow but in the meantime having this has been really handy and my favorites are just in one easy palette to grab so love this thing as well and that was pretty much the update for last month and this month's box let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and real quick before we go I think this is dried enough so let's do that whole like kiss proof test let's see not bad and that was in my mouth open slightly moist yeah I see nothing. I see nothing. This is going to be amazing because my boyfriend never wants to kiss me when I'm wearing bold colors. So I can be like, look, babe. Now you have no excuse. You know? <laughs> so yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments below. If you have any requests, I'd love to fulfill them or, you know, find out what you're interested in. And let me know some of the products that you got in your BoxyCharm if you got anything different. Or if you filmed one of these, I would love to check it out. So don't forget to leave a comment down there. Click the like button so you know you enjoyed this. And subscribe so you stick around for more videos. And I will see you very soon.